What's going on guys, Aaron Goldston here. So in this video guys, I have to share with you why a job is a scam. I recently made a video talking about and sharing with you why college is a scam, which is an, it's an absolute scam guys. The craziest thing you could do if you want to get behind in life is go to college. And I proved that in that video. You can go find it. I made it like about a week and a half ago. In this video you are on right now today, you are going to learn three reasons why a job is a scam. And this is going to go completely against mainstream thinking and what most people think. So if you've been brought up your whole life that the way you're supposed to do things is to go to school, get in a bunch of jet, uh, debt, get a degree you're not going to use, and get a job where you can go be someone's bitch for the rest of your life. And this video is not for you, but if you are someone that's hungry, if you are an entrepreneur, if you're someone that wants the truth, then this video is for you. So let's dive right into it. Um, I'm starting to have a few more people that are finding my channel, subscribing to it, so I actually get more excited making these videos for you guys because I got stuff I want to talk about. I got stuff I want to share. I got... I know what this information has done for me, and I want to be able to change your life with it. The person that's watching this video right now, so I get pretty excited about making these videos now. So, let's dive into it. So, what are we taught? You go to school, you get good grades, and you get a good job, and you be someone's bitch for the rest of your life. Now, Aaron, that sounds a little bit harsh, doesn't it? You be someone's bitch the rest of your life? No. When you have a job, you are someone's bitch. So let's look at that. What's that mean to be someone's bitch? Well, if you're someone's bitch, they're going to tell you they're basically going to control you. You are going to be a slave to them. So if you're someone's bitch and or if you're a slave, what's that mean? Well, that means you're going to do what they tell you to do, when they tell you to do it, and you're going to do it how they tell you to do it. Aaron, that seems kind of crazy, you might say. A job isn't like that. Well, let's see. When you have a job, do they or do they not tell you when you're going to come into work. Well, yeah, they tell you when you're going to come into work. And then do they tell you when you're going to leave work? Well, they tell you that too. And then do they tell you when you're going to take lunch? Well, they tell you that too. They say you're coming into work at 9 and you're leaving at 5. And what happens if you don't do that? What happens if you say, you know what, it's 5 o'clock. I really don't feel like staying till 5. I'm piecing out at 2.30. You're going to get in trouble and you're going to get eventually fired, if not fired right away depending on your job and then they tell you when you're going to lunch right if, if you just get to the office if it's 9 30 maybe you're kind of hungry right maybe you're trying to eat a bunch of small meals or something i'm going to lunch now well a lot of times they're gonna say no we got scheduled lunches you're not allowed to take a lunch till this time because they control you because you're their bitch because that's what happens when you have a job they also tell you how you're going to dress show up so guys in my business that I own, I got a couple businesses. And my main, well, both of my main businesses, guys, are strictly online now. So I get up when I want. I work when I want. I, I sometimes work with clothes on, guys. Sometimes I get out of the shower and I'm excited about something. And I sit down in a towel, grinding away for a couple hours, making stuff happen. Because I'm consistently, my business is actually fully automated, but I... I, uh, and I, I, I have a webinar where I actually teach you about my business too. So it's not like I'm trying to just keep what I'm doing to myself. You get, there's, I got like a two hour long webinar to where I show you exactly what I'm doing in my business and how you can basically copy me if you want to do it as well. Um, so nothing to worry about there. But if you, uh, you know, I, I can work on my business in just a towel if I want. All right. I can work on my business with no clothes on if I want. Now, usually I'm, I got clothes on, but. I can do whatever I want. Can you do that where you work? Can you go to work uh, you know, naked? Okay, probably not. Can you go to work wearing what you want or do you have to wear what the boss tells you you have to wear? This is the uniform, this is the dress code, and this is how you dress. That's what the boss tells you. You don't have to lie to me. We don't have to be psychic. That's how it works. So the boss controls you. They tell you when you're coming to work, when you're leaving work, what you're going to wear. They also control what you say. They control the words that come out of your mouth. If you ever deal with customers, next time you're dealing with a customer you don't like, tell them to fuck off. Tell them to get lost. Tell them how you feel. Say, you know what? You're kind of being a bitch right now. I think you're an idiot. You're a moron. Go ahead and leave and get out of here. Well, 
Why don't you say that? That's how you feel. Oh, you can't say it because you have a job and your boss controls you. You're a slave to your boss and your job. You're a robot. You can only do what the boss tells you to do. I was just at Quick Trip, and when I was leaving Quick, Quick Trip, what do they say? They say, uh, they say like, see you next time, I think is what they say. They have to say that when they work there. That is part of the code. When they, when it comes next time, I don't. Really, I just say it. Guys, because when you have a job, you are someone's bitch, you are someone's slave, you are the robot. They control when you come and when you leave, what you do when you're there, when you can go on breaks, what you wear and how you talk and the words that you say. That's how it works, guys. And that's, that's, that's not good. You should get pissed off, right? That you're letting someone do that to you. All right, people think that's how the world works. They say go to school, get good grades, get a good job, and go be someone's bitch for the rest of your life. How fucking stupid is that? It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard, guys. Whenever someone on my Facebook says they're going to college or they got a job like a piece of me cries inside. A piece of my heart turns black and disintegrates whenever I hear that because I know the pain that they're going to have to endure. See, it doesn't matter, guys, if you're making 20 grand a year or you're making 100 grand a year. Doesn't matter if you're working 40 hours a week or you're working 60 hours a week. Doesn't matter if you have a degree or if you don't have a degree. When you have a job, you're in the same rut. You have the same problems that we just went over. Now, what's another thing, guys? You have, oh, I got a little cheat sheet here. You have no control over anything. See, it's funny. I'm all about starting businesses, and I teach the people that follow me, the people that look up to me, the people that turn to me as their coach or their teacher, the way you get rich is you start a business. That's how you get rich. You make a lot of money by starting a business. You automate that bitch. There are systems and tools you can put in place to automate your business so you don't have to be there anymore and it can run on autopilot, growing for you, and you don't have to do anything. You just sit back and collect the cash. When I was a promoter, I, I did this with a bunch of businesses. One of the businesses I started, I was a promoter. I grew the promotional business to where I was bringing in over 100 grand a year in net profit. That means pure profit after expenses. I put systems and people in places, and there's actually a right way and a wrong way to do this, but I put systems and people in places where the business was automated. I was spending 30 minutes a day, sorry, 30 minutes a week working. I worked 30 minutes a week, that's a half an hour a week, making 100 grand a year. Then I started the detail shop. I took the same strategies and I used them in the detail shop. And I actually had a, uh, I had a, I had a very, very, very good mentor when I started the detail shop. We partnered up, so I learned a lot of things from him. We put systems and people in place, so it started to automate it. So I had two businesses, both were bringing in over 100 grand a year, and I was working very, very little. And the work I was doing was like I was going to the bank. Lots of money to deposit, guys. That's not necessarily a hard thing to do. That's not necessarily a bad thing to do. So the problem with you have a job, guys, is that you have no control. See, when you have a business, guys, people think businesses are risky. People that are not educated. And it's not your fault if you think that way because advertisements, teachers, family, and the college scam itself has been telling you, brainwashing you, trying to convince you that businesses are risky and bad. College is good in the way to go, right? You know, a college has to make money. So they want to sell you on going to college. And, uh, you know, they, they sell you that by saying, oh, don't do anything else, just come to college. We'll take care of you. That's kind of how college works. Um, but think of it like this. If you have a job, right, you have no control whatsoever. You can't control anything. Let's say you have a job. This happened to my dad. My dad had a job. He was doing good. Uh, his boss loved him. He was making, the company. He, was, he was always a top performer, making himself and the company money. His old boss got let go. A new boss came and they didn't like him. And then my dad got let go. No control whatsoever. Because when you have a job, you don't have any control. You can get fired at a moment's notice. If your boss doesn't like you, if you get a new boss and they don't like you, 
They can let you go even if you've been there 10, 20 years. When I was uh, at AT AT&T and I was working there and uh, as a job, right? There's nothing wrong with having jobs. You just need to have a side business that you're working on growing to replace the income you make from your job so you can quit your job and have freedom and live the life you deserve to live. You don't want to be like everyone else that works till they're 65 or 70, retires, maybe goes on vacation for a year or so, a couple years, and then they die. Always being pissed off, always not doing the things you want to do, always living paycheck to paycheck, always living below your means, always making somebody else rich. Either you're going to go after your goals or you will spend the rest of your life working for someone that has gone after theirs. So when you have a job, you have no control. Your boss can fire you. Now let's say your boss doesn't fire you. What happens if the owner of the company, you know, has been a smart guy or a gal, right? We know there's lots of successful people. There's lots of billionaires. You look at the Forbes richest uh, uh, people that are all billionaires, right? Guys and women, lots of people. Let's say so the owner of the business was doing really good, managing the business well. You've been working for the business for 20 years. And then the owner uh, decides to sell the business. And the business gets sold, another company comes in, and the department you're in, they don't need that section anymore. You lose all those jobs. We hear that, we see that happening all the time, right? You, we see that happening where people's jobs are getting cut. Uh, it, it's not a stable thing. Jobs are getting cut, sections are getting cut, people are losing jobs. What happened if the guy that's been running the company, all of a sudden he goes through a bad divorce, and he's depressed, and he turns to alcohol, and he spends all the money from the business, getting drunk and drinking his life away and on drugs and booze and hookers and whatever the hell's, you know, helicopters and airplanes and all sorts of shit. And then the business goes under. Can you do anything about that? Just because you did everything right, you worked hard, you did what you're supposed to do, you still don't have a job anymore. You're affected by that. And you could look at it and you could say, well, you know, that fucking sucks. Uh, Or you could look at it and say, well, the reason that happened is because you didn't own a business and you're not in control. When you let someone else control your income and your destiny, then you're putting putting all that control in them and they can do whatever they want to do. The third thing uh, that jobs suck is you don't have any, uh, you don't have control over your income. So if you want to make more money, you have to follow the systems that are in place. When I was working at AT&T, guys, you could start off as a rep. Rep might make 40 grand a year. You had to be working with the company for a minimum of a year and a half before you could move up to an assistant manager. Assistant manager, guys, actually made less than reps. They called this the stupidest thing in the world, guys. I, I don't even want to say it because it's going to kill your brain cells and lower your IQ. But they called it... I don't even want to say it, guys. Say it. We... They called it, I forgot the name of it. What did they call it? They called it a career move. Taking a promotion and taking a pay cut was called a career move. That's the stupidest thing in the world. You're going to get a promotion, have more responsibility, move up and make less money so you could take a step down to potentially take two steps up. A career move. How stupid is that? Have you ever heard anything as absolutely dumb and crazy as a career move? Talk about a scam. There's this guy. Okay. I'm going to tell you guys a secret. There's this. You can get a job. And some of the jobs you want to move up. A lot of people want to move up in their job. And when they move up, you usually have more responsibility and you make more money. Because as you take on more responsibility, usually there's a direct correlation between the responsibility you have and the amount of money you have. But wait, guys. There is this thing that sometimes, guys, companies think their employees are so stupid that they will have a position above the standard position the employee's in. It's the next level. And they actually figured out a way to where they can give someone more responsibility and pay them less in that position. And they call it a career move. How stupid, oh my God, how stupid is that, guys? 
Oh my gosh, a career move. Get more responsibility, potentially work long hours, and make less money because in a few years you might be able to get a promotion that pays a little bit more. A career move. Whoever sold that to the public is making a bunch of money because all that money they would have had to pay you when you got that position, they now get to pocket it in their money. In their pocket. How nice is that? That is a scam, all right? But if you're going to go at and route, you're going to be a rep and make 40 grand a year. Then you're going to be an assistant manager, and let's say you make 35 grand a year. Then, after a year and a half, you can apply to be a store manager. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to get accepted. That doesn't mean the position's going to be available. You could be a store manager, and then you could become a store manager. Store managers make about 80 grand a year, all right? You can go from, if you do everything right, if you shoot yourself in the head and do a career move and make less money as you get a promotion, and you do that for a year and a half or two years, then you could be a store manager making 80 grand a year. So you go from 40 to 80 grand a year in three years. All right? Because when you have a job, that's what you have to do. You have to follow the outline the company you work for sets for you because you don't have any control. When you have a business, guys, if you want to make more money, you can do things right away to make more money. That's why you see people that start businesses, right? It's not just me, guys. I'm no one special. Yeah, I've been listening to two to three hours of self-improvement a day for the last 10 years. I've started over a dozen businesses, so I kind of know what I'm doing, guys. But it's not just me. There's a lot of other people that are making a lot of money that start businesses and make millions and millions if not potentially billions of dollars because guys when you have a business and something isn't going the way you want and you want to make more money you're in control you can do things to make more money when i had that detail shop guys oh, i'm sorry guys my eyes having an itch i think i have allergies i'm not 100 percent sure i like to say i don't because i'm trying to be you know real healthy and have a strong immune system but I, hey maybe i got out i don't know um so uh when i had the uh, detail shop we started the detail shop and we started detailing cars and then we wanted to make more money so you know what we did because we own the business because we had control of the business we started doing window tinting in the detail shop then we started doing pdr work so that means like if you have hail damage you take it somewhere and a technician pops out the hail dance and he makes a lot of money all right so we had like a little factory it's six months after we started the reason i was making 100 grand a year in that business was because we had a little, not a factory, I mean, it was kind of a factory. We had the assembly line, but we had stuff going on, right? We had cars coming in. We had them getting details and window tending and PDR work. We had a lot of things going on. And then when we wanted to make more money, we figured out different ways to advertise. We could consistently grow the business, put things in place to make money. You can do that when you have a business because when you have a business, you have control. When you have a job, you don't control your income. Now, if you make some commission, you do, but you only control it to, even if you get paid commission, you can only make as much money that the, um, that's, that you still have to follow the guidelines, right? You can't say, oh, I made 30% commission on this. I feel like I deserve 70. The boss is going to tell you to take a hike because the way it's comp structured is 70. If you work for the company, you're only getting paid uh, uh, 30. You're only getting paid 30% commission on that, all right? So when you have a job, guys, you give your responsibility to making more money than someone else. You say, hey, look, you control what I do. You control what I wear. You control how I, I, I talk. You think for me, and you pay me what I think that whatever you think I'm worth. And that's what you do when you have a job. And the problem with the job, guys, is you're working for someone that owns a business. And when you own a business, your job as the business owner is to put as much money as you can in your pocket. All right, the guy that owns the company they, uh, they will pay you, if, they're, if it's a decent company, they will pay you what the market's worth. If they're smart, they'll pay you a little bit more, but they're not going to pay you a crap ton more money because they don't need to. Why would they pay you 80 grand a year? Well, they can keep paying you 50 grand a year, and you're happy at 50 grand a year, and they can keep the difference. They can keep the 30 grand a year. So that's it, guys. That's the three reasons why a job is a scam. I recommend, guys, you get out of a job. Let me share with you a little secret. The key to getting rich, guys, is not by saving your money. It's not by getting a house, paying off your house, and living off the, uh, the, the value the house has occurred or the interest the home makes. And actually, homes, 
uh, you know, yeah, they say homes appreciate in value, but if you compare the rate homes appreciate in value, if you compare that, if you look at that and you compare that to the rate of inflation, it's actually about the same, to be honest with you. If you look at that, just look at that. You can look at the numbers and you can do the math over 100 years. That's not how you get rich. It's not by saving money and living below your means, all right? Everyone else is telling you to live below your means. Aaron Goldston is telling you, that's me, Aaron Goldston is saying, don't live below your means. Get fucking rich and live the life you deserve to live and your family deserves to live. It's not fair for you to tell your wife, your husband, your significant other, uh, and your kids that you can't do something, you can't spend more time with them because you're too busy working a job you don't even like just to pay bills and you can't do the things that you, uh, you know, your kid says, oh, let's do that. Oh, we can't do that, honey. It's too expensive. That costs too much. All right. When you tell that to your kids, you're embedding scarcity and bad beliefs inside your children. Instead of saying, instead of being a leader by example, leading by example and saying, you know, baby girl, baby boy, I got my finances figured out. I'm rich. And because of that, we can do these things. We can live a life of, of abundance. And by the kid experiencing that with you, they take on that belief that they can do anything themselves. That's a much better belief for your children, your child. Wouldn't you agree than the, oh, we can't afford it. Oh, money doesn't grow on trees. And putting all that negative, horrible, nasty thoughts inside your kid's head. Guys, if you have kids, I don't know where you are in life. I don't know if you have kids or not. But if you have kids and they're just growing up, you, the, you, you need to, you want to make sure that you are filling your kids' heads with uh, they can be whoever they want to be. They can live the life of their dreams. They can have their cake, cake and eat it too. And the best way to do that is by you leading by example. Because they're not going to do what you say. They're going to follow in your footsteps and do how you do it. When uh, you know my dad was teaching us to drive, he would say, Hey guys, you want to drive at 20 miles an hour and go slow in the subdivision. And he'd be going 40 miles an hour and he's going past, he's speeding up on stop. Uh, stoplights what do you think we did guys we fold in his footsteps that's what we do right that's what me and my sisters do my, so my youngest sister recently got a speeding ticket she was going like 93 and like a 60 or something crazy like that hopefully you guys got value from this video if you like this video guys definitely remember to subscribe